What's up guys? Welcome to your third Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me, Travis. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is something super exciting. We're going to install some more software that we're going to need for developing an Android. So I was hoping you guys were looking forward to that. And what we're going to actually install today is the SDK. So we're going to go into Google again and type Android SDK. And basically the SDK has all these methods that we can use for Android programming and it'll allow us to basically develop for emulator for emulator and for our phone. So we're going to download that so we can actually do some Android programming and you click the first link it's the download section from the Android developer page that we've been to before this time it's under the Android SDK starter package download we have some choices here um, if you guys want if you're on Windows you can do the the recommended one if not you can also download this it's pretty simple either way so pick one of your options again for Mac uh, just click here and I've already downloaded it downloaded it I think it's like 23 megabytes so it won't take too long unless if you guys are on dial-up And if you are I'm sorry but uh, what we're gonna do now is basically I'm gonna go to the place where I downloaded this uh, it was within still get okay it's it's right here within the downloads tab and it's a zip file so you're gonna have to extract it hopefully you guys have an extractor already if not, I believe there's WinZip, that's free. Um, Win, yeah, I don't, I don't know all the free ones, but there's definitely some freeware out there to unzip stuff. So I click that, and it basically, it's uh, made a folder right here within the same project, or within the same folder, or download folder. And you want to drag this over to your main hard drive, uh, for example, your Macintosh hard drive, or your C drive, if you guys are on Windows and as you can see it's right here what we're going to do now is open this up and if you guys are on windows there will be something called the android oh, what is it called the sdk manager i believe it's called the sdk manager there's a little green logo of uh... the android mascot for the most part that little alien looking dude you want to click on that as for Macintosh what you guys want to do is go into your tools and click Android right here now the first time you click it it might not do anything so if it doesn't just exit out of there and click it one more time and it'll load up some stuff and it loads up this Android SDK AVD manager what we're gonna do now is set up kind of the platforms that we want to develop for so we're gonna go into available packages and here's our Android repository you're gonna click that triangle triangle to open it up because if we down, download all of them it's gonna take a long time even downloading one takes a while so what we're gonna do is download for the Android 2.2 platform which has an API level of 8 now basically you guys are probably wondering what these platforms are every Android phone is running on some sort of Android operating system and this is the version of that operating system Kind of the older phones, maybe like the first Sam or like the Samsungs that haven't got updated. They're going to be running on like the 1.5. Actually, I'm not even sure if anything's running on 1.5 anymore. But basically, you can think of it like that. The older phones have these older platforms, unless if they got the updated software. So if you guys have a certain phone, just check what version it is, and you guys can develop for that. Now the API level. Again, I'm sorry, just briefly, since we're on the platform, uh, the 3 and the 3.1 is Honeycomb, which is, I believe that's what's on their tablet. So if you guys have a tablet, you can develop for that. Now, the API levels also are important because when we're developing an Android application, you can use certain methods, like I said, from the SDK. But some of those methods require a certain API level. So if you have, if you're developing for the API level 8, you can use all of the APIs up to level 8 um, but if a method requires API level of 10 we can't use it so most phones I'd say for the most part have the 2.2 or the 2.1 we're gonna develop for the 2.2 platform and we're gonna use some API levels of 8 so you guys wanna probably select this one because if you select one of these lower ones and we use an API level 8 method uh, it won't work so 
just stick with me here, click that, and then also down here we have the third party add-ons where we can uh, basically download some APIs. We're going to get the one from Google, so when we get into Google Maps we can use the API from Google. And again we're going to select API level of 8, which will be for the 2.2 platform. And then we're just going to hit install selected. Again APIs are basically like uh, some resources that we can use uh, when developing our applications. All we have to do is say accept all, install. It's my favorite wrap. Basically, instead of reading Mother Goose to me, I would, uh, when my parents went read me Mother Goose when they were putting me to bed as a child, they'd just say, accept all, install. What's up, gangster? That's, that's the kind of lullabies they'd sing me. So that just is ingrained in my head. That's what you guys want to do when you're installing software. Now this is going to take a while, sorry I'm kind of weird, but this is going to take a while to uh, install those those platforms and those packages that we can use. So I'm just going to talk briefly of how I'm going to teach and basically some stuff about Android and what we're going to get into for the most part. Now the way I like to teach, or the way I like to learn for the most part, is I like seeing kind of an overview of how things work. I don't really care for the most part of every detail. Um, but at, in the beginning at least so basically what I'm gonna do sorry I'm trying to g gather my thoughts here what I'm gonna do is kinda show you guys some of the basics of Android but we're gonna move kinda fast for the first 20 tutorials so you guys kinda see how everything works you might not realize everything that's going on but trust me you'll, you'll learn a lot throughout those tutorials not like every detail but after the 20th tutorial, we'll kind of go back and redo some of those things that we've done just a little bit differently and introduce some new stuff so that older stuff makes sense and you guys realize what's going on. I don't know if that description made sense, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of go quickly and then we're going to backtrack a little bit and cover some of the stuff that we did and then move forward as well. I won't get into every detail right at the beginning so if you guys don't like that I'm sorry but I will cover every detail just within time so stick with the series and it will pay off I promise you guys you'll understand Android for the most part after this whole series is done so just to give you guys an introduction of how I'm gonna teach there it is and also Android is so big there's so many different programming languages you can use with it, but it's mainly the main programming language is Java. That's basically how we're going to set up our interface, or our navigation, all that stuff. But you can also use C++. You can also use OpenGL ES. You can use MySQL Lite. You can, um, what else? XML. We're going to get into XML. That's easy for the most part. But there's so many programming languages. You can use HTML5 as well when you're developing your application. So it's going to be hard covering all those topics and pretty much everything. So I'm just going to stick with, uh, okay, so this got done installing. So we're just going to hit, okay. I'm just going to, you know, cover as much as I can within 200 tutorials. And hopefully you guys will be happy with that. If not, you guys can check out my bring back and I'll do some additional tutorials on got things that you guys request. So there we go uh, we have our stuff installed and now when we say uh, or when we say installed packages we can see some of the options that we downloaded the other thing we're going to do real quickly is set up the emulator so we're going to say the virtual devices up here and hit new and we're going to call this one droid x um, again this will have to be one word it can't be two words just one word so we're going to have no spaces and what's our target going to be developing for? We're going to have it developed for the 2.2 platform. And this size is basically a virtual SD card. We're going to say something like 100 megabytes, which is kind of overkill, but we're going to go with it. And then just hit Create AVD Manager. Whoops. And hit OK. And we're done for this tutorial anyways. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.